Hey, um, everybody. Um, good afternoon. I hope that uh, all of you are doing um, well. I know um, I am really, really um, excited to go to um, Abu Dhabi. I'm very, very excited and uh, working hard to stay in shape. It means a lot. I am very, very thrilled to do this and participate. Good afternoon um, to you. I posted up here and wrote, um, I know that I am representing something bigger than myself. Um, here I am uh, at the airport here um, in Delaware. What a, what a great experience um, I had. Um, I also want to say thank you to um, all of uh, the swim coaches who worked uh, with us and took time um, out of their lives um, to work with us. Uh, talking to us about different drills and things that we can do to get better. Hello to you and uh, become better so that we are ready uh, for World Games because it is going to be televised. It is going to be on television. It's going to be on TV. And so um, I want to make sure that I'm doing everything I can uh, to compete and be, uh, and be all I can be and stay in the best shape uh, that I can. Um, you know, swimming, um, you know, it may look easy, but it's not. Yes, hello to you. It says, uh, have a blessed day. I will. Um, certainly it is, a uh, nice outside. I might go swimming, uh, today to, um, stay in shape and be ready for, um, world games in Abu Dhabi. Um, I also, again, know that I am representing something bigger, uh, than myself. So that's, you know, something that I, uh, realized. And I'm excited, especially at my age, you know, 32 years old. Um, it becomes more difficult as you get older to do this kind of stuff, especially, uh, you know, with traveling and just a lot of other things. You just, um, you know, when I came home, uh, I wasn't feeling very well. But, uh, you know, uh, you just have to give your body time to recover so that you can feel better and uh, those kinds of things. So this week, uh, things are doing a little bit, you know, I'm doing a little bit better. And I'm glad about that. Good afternoon to everybody. Um, I am certainly excited to, again, represent a Special Olympics Team USA. Um, because, you know, it's a once-in-a-lifetime experience, and this stuff only takes place every four years. So you, you definitely uh, don't take anything for granted. I don't. Um, I think a lot of people, some of them may think just because it's Special Olympics that we don't take it seriously or we don't work as hard or we don't, yeah, it's not true because there are a lot of things that, you know, people with disabilities can do um, that people that have no disabilities sometimes cannot do. So it just depends. Um, like I know a lot of people who have no disabilities at all and they can't swim. So, so, so it, it just depends on the situation. Hello um, to you. I see you. Uh, Clark, I see you. Thank you. Good morning to everybody. I waved at you. Um, it is good, and I am thankful to all of the coaches, volunteers, and people who made uh, this possible for us uh, in Delaware. Again, um, I'm also thankful to the drivers and others who got us home safely. Um, that you know that means something, and I'm glad that they're going along with us. Uh, you know because uh, one of the gentlemen he said he's been traveling for about 25 years or more um, all over the place, so it's good to have people who uh, who know how to get you home. Um, you know, and so I feel good going to Abu Dhabi because uh, you know I'm not going by myself. That's a good thing. Um, you know, you're going. Uh, with groups of people, um, you're going to have a good time, you know, I've never been to world games, uh, I've never been to national games even, um, and I am glad that I got selected, because again, you know, I'm 32 years old, and so four years from that date, um, you see where I'm going, you get older, and so, um, you know, you, you know, you also want to have opportunities to do other things too. So, uh, being able to be chosen to do this, it's, it's, a uh, you know, I take it seriously and, um, I don't goof around or, you know, none of that kind of stuff. When I'm in the water, I swim. I don't play around. I don't, you know, none of that kind of stuff. Um, you know, so, you know, I know the events that I'm swimming in and, uh, I'll work on those and, um, 
So far, what they told me is uh, my events won't change, but hopefully next time I'll be able to swim the 200-yard individual medley instead of the 100-yard fly because for the last 10 years, um, I've been trying to do the 100-yard individual medley. One, because it's Michael Phelps' favorite event and it's my favorite event, but I'm never able to swim that event because uh, it's not listed uh to swim and a lot of people can't swim it so they don't even have it on the paper to swim um but hopefully all of that changes and i put in a request for them to at least have it so that a person like me can enter the event um so that i can swim it at nationals and world games because i want to be able to swim the things that i want to eventually um they just didn't have it this go around but hopefully the next time um, you know, I'll know how this works since I know what, you know, what's expected of me and stuff, uh, and what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, and so, um, I'll treat this just like any other swim camp that I've been at, um, do my job, do what I'm supposed to do and go home. Um, you know, so that, that helps me. Um, so my folks told me to treat this like a swim camp or, you know, um, things like that or state you know large high school state competitions uh, which they were also very uh tight uh in how they did things so that's uh another thing for me to keep in mind i am excited and i'm doing everything i can um to be in shape i also want to say thank you to uh all sport dynamics that's the wrist brace that you see me wearing um on my hands um it helps to keep the weight of the luggage and heavy real heavy stuff um, off my hands like that, um, you know, just, you know, just for, you know, preventative things and just, uh, to again, take that weight off my hands when I'm, you know, carrying this luggage and that kind of stuff. Um, I am really excited to see, uh, eventually what our outfits might look like. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure what, uh, uh, I think they'll be different than what we had at the table, but, um, like I said, I've never been, so I do not know. But I know that the stuff's going to be nice, and I know that it's going to fit us, <laughs> you know, and that kind of stuff. Special Olympics invest millions of dollars to make sure that uh, that we didn't want for anything as far as food. Uh, that was surprisingly taken care of. Just a lot of stuff that um, I did not know. Uh, like, they even, uh, they're going to get us shoes to wear. So, um, that kind of stuff. So, it's, it's, it's something to think about, and... Uh, and I'm grateful. Um, I'm also grateful to um, Swim Outlet when they gave out the equipment to us. I'm thankful to that company and what they did. Um, very, very nice stuff. We got to pick uh, a kickboard or kick, pick one of those items. A kickboard, hand pull items, meaning you know you pull through the water with those items and then or if you picked flippers or something like that. So... I'm just thankful um, for each opportunity and, and this stuff, uh, the things that they gave us. I'll be taking also to Abu Dhabi, like the pool things and that kind of stuff. And just, uh, you know, anything I can do uh, to improve myself. That that was something that I needed because I didn't have have those. But I did have a kickboard and, and stuff like that. So it, uh, it means something to me to have those kinds of things. It, it means a lot. So... Today's a beautiful day for folks who want to get out and swim. Temperatures are going to be in the 80s, and then they're going to accelerate in the 90s, and that'll be good for swimming, uh, whether you're inside or outside. Uh, I preferably, as it starts to get cooler, I start to move into indoor pools, and not only that, with the changing weather and lightning um, uh, and things like that, even sometimes in an indoor pool, they don't want you swimming, so... The only thing that I worry about really is, is lightning, uh, the elements. Uh, I'll have access to an indoor pool, so I don't have to worry about the elements necessarily um, affecting my swimming. So I'm really excited, and I, and I want to say thank you to the YMCA of downtown Fort Worth for um, letting me use their pool to swim. Um, it is indoors, and it's a meter pool, so that really kind of helps me out a lot. Uh, today I'm going to... Uh, get in the water just trying to feel better though that's the biggest thing uh thursday um i'm looking forward to practicing uh with south lake carol uh swimming so i, I feel uh i'm happy uh i went to one of their practices on thursday i'm appreciative of everything that they've done um so far and uh and stuff like that so i'm, I'm appreciative to swim for south lake carol what a great team um that is and it'll help me to uh further 
my swimming and also work on a, a relay if I'm, you know, in one of those. So it's really a great, it's really a great thing for me um, to be a part of. And I'm, I'm certainly grateful for that. Um, I'm certainly grateful. Um, my coaches and everything for USA Games, um, you know, when I was in Seattle, um, I'm proud of them. And uh, and that kind of, you know, taught me how to how to conduct myself and, and stuff like that. Um, I'm, I'm grateful. Um, I can't wait uh, to, uh, to go to Abu Dhabi. It will be a fun experience for me because uh, not too many people uh, get to go uh, as far as uh, uh, Abu Dhabi or even that part of the world. So it'll be a blessing. And then hopefully the next four years, um, if I get chosen, uh, I want to do this again because, um, you know, I think uh, I think I can um, represent uh, not only Special Olympics, but, you know, represent America, whether in swimming or track. Um, I'm capable of doing both or really a lot of things. So I'm excited to just keep myself in shape so that I can eventually play sports like uh, uh you know, football or flag football or, you know, continue to do swimming or do track and field. So being in shape for me has has made me happy because it has been able to take me places um, that I never thought uh, that I could go. Um, and you can only dream of being on television and to be in countries like that. I mean, you know, it's, it's unreal. Um, it's unreal to be able to uh, experience something like this and hopefully come back with pictures and stuff uh, to show my family because you never know. They might want to go visit uh, this country. So, you know, you never know. People might see what they like and they might come back and visit on their own accord. So that's another reason that I take pictures of places because what if I want to come back and visit? What if I want to come back and stay at such and such hotel? There's reasons sometimes that I do things too. I might want to come back, um, like the hotel we stayed in. You know, I took pictures of the hotel, so if I want to stay there again, or or those kinds of things, so it, it's a fun, it's a fun experience, and hopefully, you know, the pictures that I take uh, from Abu Dhabi, um, of course, uh, a lot of my pictures I I don't post uh, until I get home. Um, that's just how I do things. Um, so that's another thing that I that I keep in mind. Uh, I do not really post. Uh, any you know pictures until I get uh, home and so and so um, there are reasons for that um, I do that for security reasons I don't post pictures um, until you know like all the pictures that you saw I didn't post those until I made it back here um, and stuff like that so in that way I can uh, edit pictures and uh, get on the computer and stuff like that before they even go out uh, on uh, the internet so um, I'm really excited and I hope that all of you guys uh, like the pictures that I posted. I, uh, I, some people on social media said that the pictures were colorful this go around. And so as phones get better, as you can tell over the years, my pictures have gotten better and better and better. So as, as phones get better, then I promise you my pictures will become just uh, that much more uh, enhanced and uh, just look a little bit uh, better and so I think that's some of the things that I'm also looking at is better phones and when you have better phones you can have excellent pictures I really don't like Apple products when it comes to taking pictures uh, there's a lot of more editing I have to do with Apple stuff but with uh, Samsung a lot of the pictures already turn out pretty good so I don't have to do a bunch of editing or nothing on that uh, but uh, other than that Samsung's the way to go at least for me for um picture so i'm very excited abu dhabi what a blessing i hope that uh folks are able to uh travel and have fun i know a lot of people the state fair is up and running so if people want to go by to the state fair of texas and check that out you can um seniors they have certain days for you if you are trying to go to the fair there's a percentage off um coca-cola and other companies are doing some cool stuff um on uh their page uh save me steve on Fox 4 had some stuff uh, Channel 5 also had some stuff so there's a little something for everybody on uh, both stations so and they give you you know they have certain discounts that they mentioned uh, I think DART uh, is also they do some things with the State Fair they're going uh, you know they'll have uh, probably a little bit more trains running and stuff so that folks can go to the fair um, I might go to the fair actually uh, 
but uh you know maybe not eat too much uh food and junk food there uh because i have to keep in mind i gotta go to world games so i'm excited man and uh, i'm gonna get ready uh to get ready to swim and uh, have a good time today get in the pool and uh start to uh work out and get back uh in the groove of things um i am grateful i'm also grateful to uh uh, my swim coach, uh, Mr. Momentoff, uh, he's uh, been an integral part of me getting to uh, uh, national games for sure and uh, now world games because he helped me fill out the applications and if it wasn't for him uh, I, and uh, and stuff and I wouldn't be here um, because, uh, you know, he uh, made sure that I could uh, uh, have a chance at going and I'm grateful for him and all the opportunities that he's given me. Um, that is for sure, and really anybody in my life, uh, including the walks at UYM State and others, who have given me uh, the opportunity to uh, do so. So I'm very grateful and uh, thankful. I'm also thankful to Miss Shante and with them writing that article on me, and uh, we'll go from there. God bless you.